Hi, in this tutorial I will show you how to animate an Illustrator project. So this is the second part of the tutorial in which I show you how to animate an Illustrator project. Um, last week we made this and this week we're going to make this. So let's start. Um, first, we need to import our Illustrator project. Um, we can do this by clicking on it and then clicking on import. And make sure that you import it as a composition and you want the footage dimensions set to layer size. So now you can open this composition and you can see that all of our layers are here. But before we start, you can right click on project, then open project settings and change the time display style to frames so that it is easier to follow. And now we can start. So first we're going to create a new solid um, and we're going to make it a white solid and it's going to be our background so let's just move it down like that and now we can start animating so first we're going to animate layer 15 and we're mostly going to be animating the scale and the shortcut for that is just s that shows the scale property so we're going to uncheck constraint proportions and we're going to animate this value so we're going to set it to zero and we're going to create a first keyframe. Um, then we're going to move 10 frames forwards by pressing shift and page down. We're going to change it to 110. And then we're going to move five frames forwards by pressing page down five times. And we're going to change this value to 100. Now we're going to select these keyframes. We're going to press F9 to easy ease them. And then we're going to open up the graph editor. And if you don't see this, then um, right click and make sure that you enable um, speed graph. So now we're going to make um, these keyframes look like this. I'm going to adjust them like that so that we have an animation that looks like this. Okay. Now we're done with this layer and we can start animating these two layers which make our PC. So first we're going to animate layer 14. Um, press S and then create a scale keyframe. Uh, we're going to set this value to 0, then we're going to move 10 frames forwards and we're going to set it to 100. Um, we're going to easy ease these keyframes and now we're going to make the animation start off fast and then gradually um, slow down like this. And then we're going to animate layer 13. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to set this value to zero, then move 10 frames and set it to 100. We're going to easy ease these keyframes and now we're just going to offset this layer by two frames. And up to this point, we've made this. Now we're going to select these two layers. We're going to write click and click on pre-compose and we're going to give this pre-comp a name and it's going to be PC. So now we can move on to animating um, these three layers and as you can see our right speaker is made of these three layers. So first we're going to animate layer 12 but before we do that, we're going to move its anchor point up here and press control so that it snaps. 
and now we're going to change um, this value right here to zero we're going to move 10 frames forwards and we're going to change it to 100 now we're going to ease ease these keyframes and we're going to do the same thing that we did with the PC we're going to make this start off fast and then gradually slow down okay um, and now we can animate these two layers so first I'm going to parent layer 10 to layer 11 so that basically whatever I do with layer 11 layer 10 will just follow so press ctrl z to undo that and now let's create a scale keyframe on layer 11 I'm going to set it to 0 um, then I'm going to move 10 frames forwards and I'm going to change this to 100 and then I'm going to move 3 frames backwards by pressing page up 3 times and I'm going to change this value to 110 and I'm also going to ease these keyframes but we need to select these two layers and offset them by two frames so now we made this now we're going to click on layer 12 shift click on layer 10 and we're going to pre-compose these layers and now we're going to press ctrl D and that's going to duplicate this composition and then we can um, move the second one to the left but press shift while you're doing it and now you can use the arrow keys to adjust its position like that and now as you can see layer 9, 8 and 7 are the layers that make the left speaker so we can select all of them and delete them and as you can see both of our speakers now animate in so the only thing that's left for us to do is to animate the monitor so first I'm going to turn off the visibility for these layers and I'm going to start um, with layer 6 um, basically now we're going to animate the position and the scale so press P and create a keyframe then press S and also create a keyframe and now press U and we're going to see both of these values so now we're going to move 10 frames forwards and we're going to create another set of keyframes and now we're going to move um, to the beginning and we're going to change this value to 0 and we're going to move this up like that now we're going to ease ease um, these keyframes and we're going to select the scale keyframes and we're going to make them uh, basically look like this and then we're going to select the position keyframes and we're going to do the same um, thing so now we've made this now we can start animating this layer right here but first I'm going to move its anchor point down there um, then we want it to start at the 10th frame so let's just move it like that and now we're going to animate the scale um, we're going to create a keyframe and we're going to change this value to 0 then we're going to move 10 frames forwards and we're going to change it to 100 and we're also going to ease ease these keyframes so now we can turn on the visibility for layer 4 and layer 3 and I'm also going to do the same thing that I did with the speaker I'm going to parent layer 3 to layer 4 
so let's just move them so that they start at the 10th frame um, we're going to move 10 frames forwards and we're going to create a position keyframe on layer 4 then we're going to move 10 frames backwards by pressing shift and page up and we're going to move these down there and now we're just going to ease these, these keyframes and up to this point, we've made this. So now we need to animate these two shapes and we're going to animate the scale on layer four. So I'm going to create a keyframe and I'm going to set this value to zero. Um, then I'm going to move 10 frames forwards and I'm going to set it to 100. And then I'm going to move two frames backwards and I'm going to set it to 105. And I'm also going to ease these, um, these keyframes. So up to this point, we've made this. And as you can see, the only layer that's left right now is layer two. So we're going to move to the 25th frame and we're going to make it start right there and we're going to create a position keyframe and we're going to sorry we're going to move it to the left like that and then we're going to move 15 frames forwards and we're going to move it right here like that and we're going to easy ease these keyframes and then we're going to make them look like this in the graph editor so that the animation starts off really fast and then gradually slows down. Now, as you can see, this right here is a problem. We don't want this um, to be visible. So we're going to duplicate layer three. We're going to move it up there. And then we're going to set the track mat of layer 2 to alpha mat. And as you can see, this problem is now um, fixed. So we're going to pre-compose all of these layers into a new um, pre-comp. And now we can um, adjust the start points of these um, compositions. So we want the PC to come in at the 10th frame. Then we want the right speaker to come in um, at the 20th frame. And we're going to um, have the left speaker come in at the 22nd frame, just to offset it a little bit. And then at the 30th frame right here, we want the monitor to come in. And now let's take a look at our animation. So as you can see, we've quickly made a really nice um, animation. We've successfully animated our Illustrator project. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please check out my channel for more. And if you like it, then please subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you next time.